Uh, what's up guys, so I'm here with Evan. We just killed this workout. We did three 800 meter runs at what pace? Uh, three, minute, three minutes, so 10 miles per hour. 10 miles per hour, so Evan, like that's probably the fastest you ran, right? Yeah. In a while. Fastest I've run since eighth grade, Ooh. something like that. Yeah, how, how did you feel after that workout? Uh, I felt I felt good. I felt like I would push myself farther than I, I truly thought I could actually go. Um, it's definitely, one of the most exhausting workouts I've done in years. Uh, but otherwise, I feel pretty good. I'm happy I did it. So. That's good. So what are you training for specifically? I'm training to try uh, for the uh, Air Force uh, physical fitness test. So a mile and a half run, nine minute, basically nine minute pace, mm -hmm. um, push ups and sit ups in a timed minute. So training yeah. to uh, do my best on that. Yeah, so so you have to finish the mile and a half in nine minutes and 13 seconds? Nine minutes and 12 seconds. Nine minutes and 12 seconds. So that's super fast. Like, I don't know if anyone knows that, but like he has to run like, what, a six minute mile? Yeah, it's gonna be a six minute mile. There maybe maybe a little bit of leeway, 6.04, uh, and then three, probably a 3.04, or something like that for the next half mile. Um, so something I haven't done in a long time. Yeah, yeah, so definitely a super challenging thing. And like you said, he has to do a max sit-up test and a max push-up test where he has to do as many push-ups as possible within a minute and then as many sit-ups as possible within a minute. But uh, I wanna hear some of your goals. Over What are some of your goals that you wanna accomplish in the next couple of weeks? It doesn't have to be times. It could be just like, I guess you wanna complete the workouts, you just wanna improve or something. Like anything specific that you wanna get better at in the next Specifically, I would say, you know, just the, uh just making sure that I can wake up every day and, and feel that motivation and feel the you know dedication to go out there and do the workouts and want to accomplish it and push myself past where point where I don't even think I can do it anymore and then just you know take take that point and see that point and say no this isn't it I'm gonna keep going so yeah. that's for the next few weeks to really kind of challenge myself um, so yeah I'd say that's probably the goals right now awesome and like do you think it's harder working out with somebody or without somebody I think it's harder to work out without someone to really get everything you want out of yourself. Yeah. But with someone, it's definitely harder <laughs> on the body. Um, <laughs> but you know, you're you're happy you did it. You're happy there's someone there pushing you. So I mean, definitely would rather have someone to push you the whole way through versus kind of cheating yourself without like because you're gonna you're not gonna be pushing yourself as hard as someone else might be able to push you. You might not think you can do it. But there's someone in your ear telling you can do more. So yeah, awesome. So how much do you currently weigh right now? Weigh 168 pounds. Awesome. Is there like a goal weight you're goal aiming towards? Uh, I'm looking to get down to 165. Awesome. Um, you're not too far. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, this is just like you know, we just wanted to film this just so that you know Evan has something to look back on, so that he can see how much progress he's gonna make. So I, you know, I believe in him. I know he's gonna get it done. And, uh, you know, I know he's going to absolutely kill it these next couple weeks. And we're going to try to get more workouts together because, like he said, it's, it's easier for had to so have someone beside you, like, yelling in your ear, be like, you know, push it, keep on going, versus, like, telling yourself when you're already tired. You, that's it's so hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm definitely happy that Phillip's here to, uh, to push me along because I would not be <laughs> at this stage right now doing this much progress. Uh, without him so uh, yeah. awesome yeah so great job today Evan proud of you man thank you and now we're gonna hit a little bit of legs do a little bit uh, you know work on that endurance um, what we're gonna be aiming for is about like two sets of like 15 reps so that you know he he's able to withstand that lactic acid because I, I definitely feel like you were feeling heavy you felt those legs getting heavy towards the end of those 800 meters yeah yeah, they felt like they wanted to uh, go flying off the treadmill. I thought I, was going, I thought I was going off the back end. Exactly. So, like, with the exercises, like I told Evan, the first thing you want to do, if you're, some, if you're an athlete working towards trying to get, you know, work on his endurance or speed, focus on the running portion first. Because if that's your main goal, the running, then work on that. The, you know, the weightlifting, all the other stuff is more of a supplement to help you with the running. So... You know, as an athlete, I always try, you know, focus on those things that you need to work on. I'm a soccer player. Do the soccer training first, because if that's your, you know, if you want to get better at soccer, do that first. Or because if you do the weightlifting session first, then your, your soccer session is going to suffer because you're going to be fatigued. So it really depends on what your goals are. Um, obviously, there's, you know, there's a lot of different, like, 
situations and stuff. So a lot of athletes in the off season, they want to get stronger, they want to build size, and that's perfectly fine. That's when you can go to the weight room before your soccer session or whatever sport you play. But overall, great stuff, Evan. Proud of you, man. This is just the beginning to uh, this crazy transformation. Yeah, thanks for so, having um, me. So, uh, appreciate it. You the St. James. Welcome to your best. The St. James. This is sponsored by <laughs> Fuma Supremo. <laughs> I was gonna go. I could go on like Ox or like I don't know. I go on 286 Fairfax Town Parkway. Yeah, and then go. Okay. All right, guys. What's up? I'm here with Evan and Juan, and uh, we just finished a really good workout. Evan killed it today. Today we started off on the treadmill. We did six 400 meter runs at a six minute mile pace, and uh, Evan's gonna give his thoughts on the workout, what he thought. How he feels and just like kind of explain you know what else we did after that too so what do you think of the workout today the workout today was good um definitely definitely a lot easier than anything in the past that i've done so you know the first i think the first three four hundreds were probably pretty easy switched it down from a two minute rest to a one minute rest and so i wasn't really expecting it but i was able to handle it pretty well um and then right after that fourth one legs might have started to tire a little bit but Luckily, I had Philip there to just keep pushing me through it and was able to actually get everything done, even even put a little kick at the end of my uh, sixth 400, you know, put it up to uh, 11 miles per hour and just kind of hold it for as long as I could. So, yeah, it was a pretty good workout today, um, only cardio, uh, and so I was pretty happy with that. And you got the rest, you cut that down uh, yeah. a whole minute. Yeah, cut it in half. So last week I was doing two minutes and now I'm down to one. I I was telling I was telling Philip I didn't want to do that. You know, I was like, I want 130, but he wouldn't let me uh, cheat myself. <laughs> he put me at, he put me at a minute and I just had to do it. And I was able to get through it. You know, I, that's one of those another one of those examples where you just kind of have to believe in yourself a little more because someone else believes in you. Um, and so they want they want to push you to be your best. And sometimes you just have to trust them. Yeah. And then after we hit a pool session, Evan swam 400 meters. Um, I did 400 meters last time with Juan. So this time I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do 500 meters. And uh, how, what do you think of the pool session? How do you feel after? Yeah, the pool is hard. <laughs> uh, and there's no, there is no easy way to say it. Uh, you know, the pool, is, the pool is a difficult thing to do, especially after running the six 400s. Um, but it's rewarding. It definitely, after you get out of the pool, you definitely feel like your entire body has a, uh, has gained a little bit of something. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to put it into words right now, but I definitely feel better after going through the pool. You know, everything feels a little more loose. You feel a lot better. Yeah, you take a lot of the impact off since like you're not running, but like you're still getting that cardiovascular like training in. It's still exhausting. Yeah. It's like, it's a different type of cardio, which is, I think it's important for all athletes to do some type of swimming. I think it's like, you know, instead of running on that hard concrete, taking a day, maybe just swimming. But yeah. overall, Evan killed it, proud of him. 
I, every time I work out with him or whenever he comes to work out, I always want to kind of push him out of his comfort zone just so like to show him that he's capable of doing, you know, like I said, like he's capable of doing what he believes. Like he, maybe he might not believe he could do it, but I know he can. And sometimes having that extra person just be like, yo, do it. If you have to take the extra time, take it. But I mean, he pushed through, he killed it. And like you said, like the last 400 meters, like um, he, he kicked it, went up to like 11 and he pushed through it. He definitely, I, I definitely knew he had a little bit more in the tank. But I mean, that's exactly what we're looking for. And eventually we want to get to a point where he's taking no breaks at all. And uh, I think in a couple more weeks, he's gonna, it's gonna be 30 seconds or maybe less, so. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. The one thing Philip is not telling you guys is that uh, <laughs> he really wants me to see me fall on my face on the treadmill. That's why he's pushing me so hard, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, great stuff from Evan. Thank you for coming. Yeah, uh, appreciate you having always me. Always a pleasure. And uh, now we're gonna get Juan's thoughts on today's workout. Juan joined me in the soccer session this morning. He pinged some amazing balls uh, out wide. Evan saw that. The distribu distribution was on point today. And uh, then he joined us in the swim. So tell us about the soccer session. How do you feel? And uh, the swim, go ahead. Um, the soccer session was, it felt great, honestly. You know, we had uh, a couple other guys that came in and I think with that, it helped a little bit more on the motivation and like the intensity of the of the training. Um, I did hit ping some nice ass balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't. You can't lie. I can't lie, but you know, I also wanted to push Phil a little bit on his cardio, getting to the balls. So uh, even though he got a little bit, a little mad at me for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. No, they're good. They're but, good. That's, I appreciate it. <laughs> but um, after that, we went to the pool, you know. Um, I did we I, I did like about five or six hundred meters of swimming um, but you know it, it was a good way to relax the muscles from uh, from this morning so yeah it felt yeah. great awesome and a great day to get better right you know it, it's a great day to get better and then today we also had a special guest what, who you you asked him to come over remember we saw him who was our special guest in our soccer oh, session oh yeah yeah <laughs> so there was this little kid this little kid comes up to me at the field. He goes like, hey, can I use your pump, right? I go like, yeah, sure, here you go. I pumped it up for him and everything. He started doing his own little session and I see at the corner of my eye, this man was doing some ladder drills, but he wasn't using a ladder. He was using styrofoam cups, bro. The dedication that this little kid had, oh, bro, Doug, I was this, like. This, literally, this man literally had red flip cups. Yes, yeah, red solo, solo cups. Bro. I look at this man. He started doing some ladder drills, some like cone uh, drills from cone drills, like <laughs> skills, skills, uh, skill specific drills. And I was like, bro, like this is the dedication that you need. You Eleven know? years at, old. Eleven years old, out here by himself with the with his own ball, his like his own. He didn't even have cones, and he found a way to get cones and was by using the by using the cups, bro. So. He comes out, you know, and I go up to him. Like I asked him if he wanted to come and train with us. At first, he was kind of shy, yeah. but uh, I told him like, yeah, like we're just warming up real quick. And then he he tells me, I kid you not, he goes like, <laughs> I'm gonna finish this set, and then I'm gonna join you. <laughs> I go like, props to you, my guy. Props to you. He comes and joins us, you know. Uh, he got some work to do, but you know, it's... He's, he's, he's still young though. He's very young, so... Does it have soccer cleats, I don't think? I don't think... He was he was training in regular tennis shoes. Regular tennis shoes. We were out, out here, everyone was wearing cleats, and my man was kicking the ball, passing the ball with just regular tennis shoes. So, at the end of the training session, uh, Phil was very kind to him and gave him a ball and a cup of cones, so... Yeah, that man he, deserves it, man. Yeah. That, he, yo, he, we, we respected the grind. Like when I when I saw that this man was training with red solo cups, I was like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna <laughs> let this kid train with fucking <laughs> cups. Like. But but when Phil did that, you know, it was like the smile on his face that like got to me at the end, and that's like the the type of thing that I believe Sparta X is all about. So, oh. You know, like that is. Yeah, you know. yeah I, I didn't want to film that shit because you know I'm not here for the clout or anything. I just think like I, I like we all respected the grind. Like Chris, Juan, 
everyone that saw him train with those cups, I was like, holy shit. I was like, that's why I was like, I'm going to give this kid a soccer ball and some fucking cones. Like, because like. He deserved it. Yeah, no. he deserved it. Like, if I could give him more shit, I'd give him more. But, you know, he was really happy. I was really happy to see that. And I'm sure we'll see him at an Aussie tomorrow. Is it, um, so, uh, Abraham, if you're watching this, keep up the great work, man. Hey, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean it's such a really nice kid young and like i think he has a lot of potential when you see a kid that young coming out to a field by himself using cups as cones like sky's the limit exactly. sky's the limit sky's the limit exactly sky's the limit that's where like some of the best players come from they literally come from nothing so you can't teach that you really can't teach that cannot yeah, teach that. that 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 drive right now he he's out here by himself you know early in the morning like 11 years old out out on the field by himself, I know, by you know, 11 years doing, old. Drills. doing yeah. drills like you have to look up and find exactly. yourself you know he's, he's taking the extra hour the extra work at night you probably you know he's going home and do watching the youtube he's watching sparta x <laughs> watching what this guy's doing it's like how do i do this and then all of a sudden he's out there and you see him and then now he knows even more because you were able to train him and able to do all these things with him. Exactly. And so he's going to appreciate that and he's going to remember that for the rest of his life and he's going to take that into every single day that he's doing more training and remember it when someone was kind to him and gave him that ball, gave him those cones. So that's what Sparta X does. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, I mean, like, we were super supportive. I think I, what I love about this group of guys is that, um, is that not only do we like we're very support like the environment i want to create is like very supportive like i, I don't want to have a group of guys that are just dicks you know I, I feel like having a toxic environment it's not going to promote growth i don't care if you're ass respect the grind you respect and, the grind and motivate each other exactly bring each other up he makes a mistake then tell him like yo that next one that's it like Facts. there's 100%. no I, I feel like at the end of the day if you know if someone's trying to get better like respect that and then help him you know don't push him down because at the end of the day he's trying he's trying to accomplish something and you can either be like the person that can help him bring him up or you can be the person that could tear him down we all have the same goal you know and we're out here grinding we're all trying to help each other get to that goal so yeah i mean obviously evan plays a different sport but like you know i'm like juan i know all these other guys they would support evan regardless of whatever sport whatever he has in mind like we would support him it doesn't matter i don't care if he was to do gymnastics or something else. I don't think we're doing gymnastics. I know, yeah, yeah, I'm but, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, with, with those guys, you know, you always want, why would you not want someone to be better than you? Because then all of a sudden you can see what they're doing. You can try and be better than them. And all, it's just a back and forth, back and forth. Exactly. And so exactly. you're just building yourselves up and become better than all those other people that aren't doing these things. So you, yeah, you want to be extremely supportive yeah. of your friends, especially, and especially your, your uh, competitors, because they're only going to make you better. 100%. But yeah, great stuff from these guys. But good stuff from this man. Yes, sir. So what are we trying to lose? How much? How much weight? So for this month, my goal is to at least lose five pounds. Um, so by the end of the month, five pounds is the goal, and then hopefully after that, it just keeps going down and down. So I like to hear that. How about you, Evan? No weight goals or just. We're Wait, goal right now. I, I mean, nothing for the end of the month. I would say um, just keep on just working keep on the strength training, the, the yeah, speed more, work. Yeah, more more the feeling, not the because uh, I I've noticed over the past few months because I was trying to lose the weight and I spent too much time looking at the scale yeah. versus actually how my body felt. Hundred percent. Um, and this, you know, the number on the scale doesn't really mean a lot if you're feeling ten times better than what you see. Hundred percent. That that so, that is such an underrated thing that Evan just said. It's, literally you couldn't have said it any better at the end of the day like the scale is just something to reference off maybe at the beginning but i think the most important part is like how you feel if you're feeling good i think you can't ask for any more you know yeah. but yeah. yeah great stuff guys yeah. awesome job great, great day to get better yeah. both of you guys appreciate you having me man i love going to this place so yeah it's a, it's a hell of a place oh, yeah. uh, great. You know. peace out <laughs> Oh, shit.